welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. I have uh, James again here today. Hi, Raj. Good to have you back again. It's good to be here. Um, and uh, there are some videos that we have with James talking about some of the specialized work that you do on right. coffee machines. So please watch uh, the previous videos. But today you have got some new machines here. Some new old machines. <laughs> <laughs> new old machines. I have, yeah. But... I recognize them. They are probably about 16 years old. They are. Yep, they're around about 15 or 16, or 16 years, years, old. years old, these two machines. And these were called the Cubica, uh, the Gadget Cubicas. Mm -hmm. And they are still called the Gadget Cubica. They still are. <laughs> and what have you done on them? Um, well, basically, what we've done with these machines is we've given a complete overhaul. Yep. So they've been totally stripped down, every nut and bolt, yep. and refurbished. Um, and then what we've done is changed the colour. So because they're an older machine... So they were originally uh, stainless, stainless steel. steel. So you had yeah. actually painted them either white or black. Or black, these And two. you could actually do any colour. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And the branding is uh, as it was. It, it is. It's yeah. the original Gadget branding and yeah. logo for, yeah. the for the machines. And the buttons are exactly the same. So the machine is exactly the yeah, same yeah, as it it's was. Not, it's not been modified um, internally, electronically, or mechanically yeah. at all. And these actually have a 750 watt boiler. I think it's a fairly small boiler, yeah. but very effective boiler. Yeah. Very quick yeah. to heat up, and aluminium boiler as well. Mm -hmm. um, you have got a drip tray. And you have actually modified the steam one, it looks like. Yeah, that's just one of the other slight modifications. Normally, it just comes with the standard steam wand. Metal. A metal steam wand. And um, you have put a silicon uh, tubing yeah, on a it. A silicon sleeve, which makes it easy to clean. It just what The milk just wipes off with a and sponge. And also, it doesn't get and hot. it takes well. some of the heat out, so yeah. it's a bit easier to move. And um, you have fitted something at the bottom of it. Yeah, just a small, um, they call them an acorn nut or a dome nut. Um, I put, well, I put a little thread on the old steam wand and drilled a smaller hole underneath and fitted yeah. the nut to it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, so that's slightly modified. Now you have got a, a nice um, filter holder or porter filter. This is not the one that comes with no, the machine or no. came with the machine no. before. The, so this is like a professional. Yeah, the, the, these are new. The accessories. What I've done with the machines. Yeah. Um, to make a nice little set with the machines, I've taken the colour and followed the theming. Okay. Um, so I've made the logos to match the machines yeah. on that the knot boxes. Nice. I made the knot boxes. These are handmade. So is this some for somebody who is uh, enthusiastic about coffee wants to actually go for the old type of machine, but they want to add things to it that's so right it, it's um, it's very much like um like a collector's like vintage type if you like okay. a vintage machine you're a bit yeah. of an enthusiast yeah um and the nice little set all ties it in together you can have sort of quite a classic-y looking yeah. vintage machine and accessories yes but it's all been serviced and maintained so you've got a nice g on it as well uh on the handle yeah and you have also got a g on the tamper stamper as yeah. well yeah, that's so quite nice. It, it's themed the whole Gadget. Yes, this is a, a brass filter holder. It is. Yeah, a professional. Um, the machine has got a an aluminium boiler, so you are fitting a slightly different kind of uh, brass filter holder to it. Yeah, uh, but it should be okay. Oh, it, yeah, it's it, strong yeah. enough to handle yeah. that kind uh, of it, weight. It is. Yeah, but basically, it's just it's because. The difference in metals. Um, yes. Originally, these machines they made them with a cast aluminium uh, porter filter as well. Yes. Um, you can't get them anymore. They no. they don't make them anymore. They're like no. hens tape to try and find. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the standard Gadget brass porter filter yes. fits. So this is basically the Gadget brass. It is. Filter. Yep. The same one that will go in uh, a classic, a baby, or even a commercial machine. On a commercial mm -hmm. machine. So it's quite a heavy uh, yeah. piece of kit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All new as well. Yeah. Yeah. And where can you get these now? Um, well, we, we have them on display in the shop at Junction 32. So that's Castlewood. Junction 32 uh, Gadget Shop. Uh, that's uh, near uh, Pontefract and uh, it's on the M62 and M1 Junction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, where we do all the new machines, Gadget models. Uh, so you can actually go and have a look at uh, the automatics, the manuals. Uh, all the different machines and we have got your range of 
accessories yeah, as well. Yeah, and I, I make hand make accessories to fit Gadget machines. Obviously, the tampers and the knot boxes they they can be used for anything. Yeah. Um, but predominantly, I make accessories for Gadget machinery. Um, and you do uh, fit things like PIDs and uh, various other things to it. So some of the other videos actually show that. Yeah, so I, I, what I do is take predominantly gadget machines yeah. um, and at customer's request, or if they've got their own gadget machine already um, and they would like a PID controller or an upgraded steam wand or shot timers and things like that, they can contact and we can do that work for them. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's on a... On a um, like a personal service for them, yes. basically, uh, to their request. Um, and there is some of that's on display there. That I have some demonstration ones that I've done. Yeah. Um, and what do you think of this machine as a as a coffee machine for anyone? Uh, the the, wanting the to first time I used it, I mean, I, I, I hadn't used them. Um, I got them stripped and got it working again. And I made. I'm used to a Gadget Classic. Yeah. And I made a coffee on the Cubica, and I got exactly the same standard of, of espresso yeah. from this machine as what I can get out of a classic. Um, it's and a, you have used a normal traditional filter basket? I've in used it. a standard 14 gram or 14 16 gram, gram yeah. basically basket in a standard port filter. And you can use the, the 7 gram basket yeah, or, a, a, yeah, or, or, or a pressurized basket if you want. Or a pressurized basket. Or if you wanted to use uh, ESC pods, yep, you could yep. actually use them as well yep. on those. Um, but yeah, but it, it performed. It, it's, it's slightly smaller than the classic. I, I sort of think of it as the classic's baby brother. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's what it is. It's a smaller yes. version and it's for... If, if, if you're not making coffee time after time, if you're just going to get up in the morning and make yourself a cup of coffee mm -hmm. or uh, just either, either black or just a cappuccino or a latte, yeah. Yeah. and then you're going to turn it off and then maybe in the evening you want to make yourself one more, yeah. it can perform as a classic. I think there really are can. a lot of people who have this machine mm -hmm. in their houses now. They probably have had it for the last 15, 20 years because they came out, I think, initially about 20 years ago. Okay. So uh, this these are about 15 years old. These ones are, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you can... Uh, you So you have got a, a water tank which actually sort of comes out that way. It yep, slides so out yep. so you can pour water. I'll just show you. Uh, uh, so there is a water tank where you can actually just push in, push out, pour, put water in. It has got a, a really nice uh, cup the warmer. The cup warmer, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, quite, it's quite nice. For a small machine, it's, it's actually... Even, even bigger than the classic. Yes, yeah, it is. It's because you've obviously not got the part taken up from filling the water tank because yeah. of the, the, the system that they've exactly. used. Yes. It's, it's, uh, it is nice, quite it, effective. It warms up quite nicely. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, electrically heated. No, no, it's just it the latent heat from the boiler itself. Right, wonderful. And you have got the steam wand on the on the right hand side. A drip tray which comes out for cleaning and you can pull out the, the tank this the, way as yeah, well. It can come out. And there is one tube or two tubes that uh, go in to the tank. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so these are available uh, in our shop in uh, Junction 32. We also <laughs> We'll have them on our website, so look out for them. They will be on the refurbished section uh, of our website. Uh, so have a look at that at gadgetdirect.com. Uh, have a look at other videos. Subscribe to our video channel. And thank you for watching. And thank you, James. Thanks for having me, Raj.